In this video, we're gonna have a look on how I shot this couple that is waiting a baby. It was their first time, so it was definitely a challenge because it's not easy for a first time person being in front of the camera in this situation. But it's your job, it's our job as a photographer to make them feel comfortable. And this is really, really the first key part because whenever you're shooting photos as a photographer, you need to kind of create that connection with the models that will help them be as natural as possible while shooting with you. So in this case, you can ask any type of question you can ask how the day went for them if they're ready to get the baby if they're preparing things anything that could make them feel home could make them feel comfortable so at the beginning we started with some test shot just to try out the lighting i was using a forster 200 by nanlite as a key light and a forster 150 also by nanlite as a second light plus i also helped myself with a mix but just uh, in the back to have a little bit separation more separation between them and the background Obviously, this was in my living room, so I didn't have as much space as I wanted to create complex setups, but I think this was more than enough. At the beginning, they showed me some certain photos that they wanted, and they were a bit moody, a little bit creative, but we didn't have much time, so I decided to go with like some standard initial shots with a white background and try to have them in front of each other, just looking at each other, just play with the belly. And I think I'm very happy with how these pictures turn out. Now, remember that, especially at the beginning, you need to have some sort of warm-up shot so you help them feel more comfortable and you try out the lighting, you try out the camera settings and the various focal length. Now after this, we try different poses and I also try a different angle to have a little bit of a feeling of what kind of angle could look good with their face, with their bodies, with their positions. Then it's really important then as long as you're taking photos, you're showing to them also what kind of angles you're taking, what kind of focal length if you're very close, if you're wide, because they have no idea what's going on. They've never been into a shoot and they probably have no idea how camera work. Then I also tried to make them stand because it was difficult for her to sit and in this case I had to lift all the lighting and try different poses as well. Then we tried another type of photo that I've seen online and this was about crossing arms with him hugging her from the back and then I just wanted to cut and have a very tight crop on the belly showing the four arms. Then what I've tried to do is that I wanted to have a very moody type of photos as they wanted so I decided to put the light in a horizontal way using my C stand and I tried this dramatic effect that I think looks great. So because we have one light only coming from the top we're gonna see a lot of shape very dramatic with a very dark background but at the same time we have some proper highlights some real highlights that make the two subjects stand out then I try to use a Pavo tube 30c just to put behind them and do this type of silhouette uh, effect that I think looks pretty great even in this case you're just looking at their shape but they know that they are them you don't have to see their face to understand that they are the subjects of the photo so I think it's very interesting it's very emotional it's very deep kind of photos then the next thing that I've tried to do is using a projector by nanlite to have this very neat circle around them and make them stand in the middle of the circle and try to take this type of photos that I think are very interesting as well. Then the next thing that I've tried I took uh, the projector by nanlite and put it 90 degrees on top of them. Then in this case the effect that I was expecting was to see only details of their body of their hands depending on what was uh, towards the light and everything else will be dark once adjusted camera settings and that's exactly the result that we got and I'm definitely pretty impressed by this type of photos because it was not something that I've tried before when you just see some details you don't see the whole figure but you recognize that him is the father because of the hand because of the tattoos so definitely something to try just try to be creative as much as you want uh, when you're taking this type of photos then the next thing that we tried was actually an idea from the guy and he asked me to do this type of movement with two fingers like you were walking on her belly. This was very interesting because I didn't think about this and um, and I was surprised when actually we took this type of photos because I think they're very, very deep. Even in this case, it's kind of like you're not there in the photo, there's not your face in there, but you know that you're you. And yes, I think they're very cool also for social media because because they're very deep, they communicate emotion, but for yourself, just to attach, maybe hang on the wall as they wanted to do in their house, I think they're very, very good. It's really important that when we try to shoot some different type of subjects and people that are not model, it's 
ask that we do some type of research at the beginning and we ask them what they want and try to be as creative as possible with taking the photos. When I show them the photos, they were like, oh wow, this is amazing. They really thanked me and I was very happy because we were mutually satisfied because even for myself, I took different type of photos that can enter my portfolio, that I can show, that I tried different type of lighting. We experimented, some of the things didn't go well, some of the things did go well. So remember, always try to experiment. And if you don't have any idea, then you can check out this video right here where I talk about 15 photo ideas that you can try right now. They're gonna be two episodes, so you have quite a while to watch. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao.